This is the spark plug I pulled out from the number 5 front left cylinder, and you can see that it has had catastrophic damage done to it. The piston is disintegrated and gone. All you can see is the piston rod and the wrist pin. The piston is gone. Stay tuned later in the video to see the probe scope down into the cylinder. And here is a look at the dipstick. You can see it has kind of a mocha color oil, and that is from antifreeze getting into the oil after the piston disintegrated and busted through the cylinder walls. So just uh, more fun and games. It's probably about uh, four inches of antifreeze in the oil paint. Well, okay, guys, this is the end of this engine after all that work that I put into it and then of all things to fail the front left piston number five disintegrated so if you look here you can see the remains of the spark plug that was in number five and uh, so at this point there's really no point in uh, researching the engine catastrophe any farther because uh, it's beyond fixing at this location. Uh, the piston is disintegrated. All that's left is the rod and wrist pin and those have been slapping against the cylinder wall. So the cylinder walls are cracked and parts of it broken out. Um, so I'm just very, very upset, let down by this because the um, engine was running so good. We were getting more power, you know, we uh, did the porting on the heads, exhaust ports, we put in the uh, Gibson headers, we put in the uh, MMR coolant adapters on the backs of the heads for better cooling. There's the left bank headers here. And uh, what else we do? We fixed the uh, coolant leak on the stock manifold because I was simply not going to get a Dorman manifold. They are just junk through and through. You lose 26 horsepower. So here, you see, there's the Y pipe that I put in, and uh, yeah, it was working beautifully. Changed it, the truck into a nice throaty sound. There's the right side headers there again. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just rebuilt the AC system. There's a new AC compressor. We have this nice new uh, large core aluminum radiator. We've got the uh, coolant system is all specially set up to have improved cooling. We got the three inch intake on the intake uh, port. What else did we do in here? So yeah, we just did a whole bunch of work to make this thing better. And uh, yeah, I think I mentioned uh, port matching the exhaust ports to the headers. So yeah, shoot, you know, I put about 4,000 bucks of effort, time, materials into this. And, um, and I mean, literally 4,000 bucks out of pocket for all the parts I put on here. ARP head studs, Cometic gaskets, uh, milling timing chains, tensioners, and uh, chain guides. Uh, what else? What are the goodies? So, yeah, oh, yeah, the milling high volume, high pressure oil pump, and um. Uh, we put in the reduced pressure spring. I didn't need high, high pressure. I just wanted good pressure. And uh, the pressure gauge in the 
dash went from one half to three quarters with this oil pump so it was definitely putting out more pressure um yeah i don't know i don't know and then uh so the uh yeah it's just a catastrophic failure there's nothing i can do to fix it here uh what i'll probably do is just go get a wrecking yard engine stick it in and sell it and uh buy a new um f550 with a diesel not new but i'd like to get a 7.3 diesel because uh that's about the best diesel ever made anyway so that is the uh catastrophic update on the truck otherwise the camper's working awesome you know the solar panels have already fully recharged the uh electrical system in there so uh, maybe i will call a ford dealer and see what kind of deals they have scan craigslist and see if there's any good trucks what i'm looking for is a uh f550 super crew or super duty anyway okay this is a look through the probe scope it's a milwaukee probe scope with a lighted end on it and i tell you these things are just so darned handy so we're looking down in there and what you see is there is the uh rod and the uh, crank counterweight you're looking at that round hole is the um uh, bolt hole in the rod and then you see the counterweight of the crank and uh i know there may be pieces of debris of piston down below there not really sure kind of hard to see but you can see things got uh battered up pretty good in there there's a uh scratches and a twisty piece of aluminum you can see there is coolant still flowing down through cracks in the cylinder and there you see a crack right kind of center going to the top left corner and that is the top of the rod let's uh we'll pull back here in a second and take a look at that but uh yeah maybe i'm still trying to go down into the bore but you can see the uh, excuse me the piston rod and the crank uh, counterweights down there and you see the you see there a gouge or a crack in the piston wall there lovely 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 the engine was running so good it just is heartbreaking that something this stupid failed it's um a uh, powertrain products engine and it's about four years old has maybe 25 thirty thousand miles on it just out of warranty of course and um <clears throat> uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles i guess so anyway um there you can see the inside there what happened still looking at the crank and rods and everything that's busted up in there not very happy about this i can guarantee you that it looks like uh more crackage there on the right in the center there you see that kind of twin crack and another crack going up so yeah and there you see the uh top of the rod and the wrist pin and uh there are no remnants of the piston on the wrist pin totally gone just amazing so all right that is it um i guess i am in the market for a new truck and uh I'm kind of thinking about an F450, 550. Get something with a heavier suspension, bigger brakes, bigger tires, wheels, and uh, just uh, something that should be more capable in the off-road and diesel. Okay, I will see you on the next video when I have an update. Thanks for watching.